This video is brought to you by the wonderful Squarespace. We're in Arizona, we're here for the weekend. It's me, Ricky, the whole squad. We got Chris, we got Gabo, we got Curtis, we got Ben, everybody, and Ricky and the wives, and we're ready to go to Game On Expo like our millionth time going, we've never missed. Let's find some, let, let's, I can't talk. Game hunting. All right, so I'm looking for display stuff, pretty much shirts, anything weird, obscure, you know, I like the, we, we love the weird stuff, that's what we want. Games, let's pick up some games, but we want the weird. Well, look, a Phoenix shirt. Oh, Phoenix, oh. Whoa. 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 Look at the back hit on that. What is that, Aaron? Uh, Sega at Phoenix Resale. Nah, it's dummy hard. We're here, Ricky. We're finally back. We're here. Game on convention. Party time. It's bonnet it, hey, 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 it's bonnet time. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, so one of the first things, I actually sold this recently to a good friend of ours, Rick Rick Ricky Games. It's a beautiful N64, look, release. This is, I can't remember the year. This is right here. There it is. September 28, 1996. Nintendo's new game system proves it's worth the wait. Basically, it's like an article written, obviously, when the Nintendo 64 came out. So, have not been able to find this. I've looked everywhere for this online since the day I found it. Doesn't exist. A good friend bought it off me. I drove it here to get it to them. So, let's get it to them. Yeah. Oh, look at that hole. Yo, there it is, bro. There it is. He's the one who bought it off me. And uh, so, how much is Hulk? Not for sale. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about Slim Jim? 20 bucks? Yeah. Ricky. Oh, hey, we got, we got gifts for you guys too, so come back later with this guy's here. Oh, that's amazing. So okay, we shall. But yeah, there's that for you. I'm glad it's in awesome. your hands. And uh, when he bought it, he bought it off like Instagram from Mikey, and I didn't know he's the one who bought it. And I'm like, wait, it was you? So, super cool. Heck yeah. So I walk in, I find them, I give them the N64 newspaper. It actually has a little bit of meaning for me. I found that like when I was first getting my game room, uh, my new iteration of my game room, had it set up and framed. It's been one of my most prized possessions that I enjoyed, but they've always been super cool. As you guys know, my game room flooded. I needed to kind of move on past having like paper type stuff in my game room. So got it to them. I'm happy it's in their hands and hopefully they do something cool with it. He said he brought Switch games to sell. Check them out, Ricky. Oh, no one. These are all sealed? Well, no, no, no. Some, there's some, like, like, there's some sealed All Stars. Two of them. Oh, dude. We got two of them. Some, this is sealed. This one's sealed. Need one of these. There's a lot of good nice. stuff in here. I don't know if you collect Trails of Hero. These are rare. These are pretty rare. I have the whole set sealed. Dude. Some Metroid Prime. That's from Fire Emblem. Animal Crossing. I actually really love this game right here. I don't know why. Mario's. Mario has aces. It's really good. And I feel like no one ever has Switch games. Dude, okay. no one does. Yo, what's the name of that duck game? Duck game? The one Kilo get? get oh, oh, I can't remember. Oh, dude. Dude. So Ricky's looking the, at. The, the screen is super clean though. It's like not touched. A Switch Lite, a 2D SXL. Yep. With, you got the Pika on the cover. Looks good. And there's some games in here. Look, oh, that's good games. Pokemon Sun, Mario Luigi Bowser, Pokemon Sun, Link Between Worlds. How much for both? All of this? 180. Are you buying it? Yeah. Ricky's buying it just like that. Walked in, he literally just came up and was like, you guys want to buy stuff? We're like, okay. So there it is, just like that. The power is yours. So bro shows up with a case full of Switch games, consoles, everything. But the one thing I really did want was this 2DS that he had. Beautiful 2DS, and he threw in the games for free, technically. 180 for a 2DS and like five banger games. Four banger games? Dude, it was a steal. I had to go for it. All right, so yesterday, I was not in the plan to buy stuff, but yesterday I saw a game that I need for my NES whole collection. Monster in my pocket. So 
Let's see. Let's see. He's still there. So, and he's not there. Damn, <laughs> oh. No. Oh. oh. Shoot. All right. So it was a failure. My bad rifle. I tried to get monster in my pocket for the NES, but he already sold it. So my second option to start my Super NES whole collection, Kings of Dragon, and I love this guy. <laughs> oh! So that's, that's, what, that's what the game is all about. It's a beat em up. Have you ever played Dragons? No, but sounds cool. It's a Super NES game. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. a Capcom game from the 90s. Yeah. I think it's 1994, right? Yep. All right. Nice. And that's it. Let's do it right now. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh. I'm going to get one, another one that I saw yesterday from my good friend, King of Dragons. I hope he's here. Look. Woo! Ooh. Okay, so spoiler alert. This, with this one, I'm gonna start officially the Super NES whole collection. What do you think, Rifo? I think it's a horrible idea, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's Capcom Super NES, so I think I'm doing the right thing and start my Super NES whole collection with a Capcom game, not that expensive. Oh, by the way, he was marked 100 bucks, and he gave me a good deal, 80 bucks, because I used the brown car. What are you looking at right <laughs> The Sega Game Gear TV Tuner Pack, so you can watch TV on your Game Gear. Have you ever actually tried it? Well, no, because you can't. There's like not even analog TV stations or like stations anymore. I don't even think it would work. But this is awesome because this was this is our friend Key. This hey. was his from his childhood. Really? I watched TV on the Game Gear with this, and he would literally like, and he was meticulous with putting it back into the box and everything. And I, I purchased it from Key, and it's going into my collection. I was a so cool. Super OCD kid. So you're you're lucky. I was super OCD. I I appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, oh boy, that's so dope. So I'm at the booth. I'm looking at this piece. I've wanted this forever. I'm not even kidding. I've wanted this piece. It's here. It's in box. It's sixty nine dollars. And he says he's gonna do fifty bucks if it goes into my personal collection. I'm not reselling it. It's mine in my collection. It's a good day. Hey man, I know these are like newer ones. Does this work on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> So I walk up to the booth. I want a Game Gear. I just got the Game Gear tuner, and we're next to the booth that has Game Gears. What? What are the chances? What's happening over here? Why are you still here? Dude, I love this. So Look at this, dude. Tell me about it. So it's super loud. It's got all the mods to it. Look at the lights. It's got all the lights. It's got an extremely bright screen that you don't get any like fading or anything. You don't lose any of the color. And it's, I, I, I think I might get one. Really? It's beautiful. I don't know. Me too. Check this out. So this one, he got all, he got red propine. You cannot play the card, the original cards. But I think I, I choose the wrong game to show it to you guys. But dude, it's very loud and, and I like it because it's big. And I normally, I don't have... Uh, I like Gabo because he's big. Whatever. Anyway, it's cool. I think I'm gonna get this, to be honest. So what are your thoughts right now? You've been here for a while, Rick. Well, look, he's got all of these like different ones. Like this Batman one is pretty sick. What I'm thinking is I kind of just like this. The solid black. The solid black. It's not on there. It's OK. Yeah. Solid black. Is it glass screens or the glass screen? I just like it. it. It pops, but this one also is pretty crazy. That one lights up. This one lights up? Yeah, go ahead and turn it on. It's got batteries. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. oh! Sexy, sexy. You've never said that to me before. <laughs> <laughs> I promised him I was joking, but I told him I'd help but give him $20 and hey, we bought it. And he said he'd take 200 so I'm in for 180 He's in for 180 Hey! Well, this, yeah, because you're doing that. It sounds and looks beautiful. There you go. Hey, sorry Look. to interrupt you. Yes. Uh, our good friend over there, the yellow shirt. The he yellow? Said he can use the brown car here with my good friend here. <laughs> he did. I, I, already, he already got the oh, discount, he bro. He, he knew you were with us. He That's, knocked 10 bucks off. There you go. Thank you. And then I buy it. He gives me a deal. Rivo gives me money because he always owes me money. And I'm walking out with a beautiful modded game gear for 180 freaking bucks. What made you want to pick the black scheme out of all of them? I, I tend to go towards the simple stuff, and I just, it look, I had a Game Gear growing up, 
I did not have a, a Game Boy. I, I grew up with the Game Gear, so I just liked it. The nostalgia hit me, and now I'm, ne I'm never going to play a regular Game Gear again. I Something, have have I'm sorry, something's not right here. How come the employee is giving money to the boss? He needed me. This is like undercover boss? Have dunks delivered to your door, in your face, and on fire! And if your dunks are not delivered on time, they will be rejected! Kaboom! Dragon Fighter is one of my big ones. This is one of the big ones. And it's going for like around, what, 4? Yeah, 350, 350 to 400? Yeah. What did you say your best was? 350. 350, yeah. that's a great deal. The label looks great. There's just a little bit up here. And then obviously, Collector Protector hooked us up with a protective case. So dude, I'm good. All right. Thank you so much, man. So I'm here at the expo and Retro Rick calls me over. As, as we speak, he's walking up. He picks up Dragon Fighter. Have you played Dragon Fighter? I have never played it. So I've heard good things. Surprisingly underrated game. Okay. Great side-scrolling platformer. Really cool sound effects. There's even like there's side-scrolling shooter levels in it as well. I might actually play this. You might actually play it. How many games do you need left? Dude, I'm down to like 38, 37. You are close. I know. And you paid 350 for that. The guy had it mispriced at yeah, like mispriced. six. Thank you to Ben behind the camera. Hooked him up. Dude, Get that's closer. Yeah, that's it. Ben was ballsy. Big moves, bro. He walked up. He's like, Big just moves. so you know, you're high on that. I did. Ha, ha, you're super high. high. You I was like, you're too high. Bring that down now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have to reenact this for you guys. So yes, take notice, this is an actual fake, obvious reenactment. But yesterday, I was at this expo, and I see this 60-year-old man wearing a shirt, and my gosh, he's wearing a freaking TurboGrafx-16 Vintage Devil's Crush single-stitch shirt my size, and I ask him off the back, how much, sir, for that shirt off your back? He says $400 and he comes back to me with the offer of $300. I take, I have to take it. $300, Devil's Crush, TurboGrafx-16, vintage, off the back. By the way, awesome 60-year-old man had that shirt. I took it, and now it's mine. Excuse me, old man. Whoa, whoa, what do you want? I would like this shirt off your back. I don't know why I'm touching a random old man. Are you a weirdo or something? Yes, what is your price for this shirt off your back? $400. Huh? I don't know if I can do 400. How much will you take on the shirt? I'll take 300. Freaking creep. Look at this. I told you guys all Just all rotted cross. Walked in here. This is all crusty, Chris. Ooh, I like the Chester Cheetah. Dang, I like Chester it's Cheetah. Chester. Look at, he's just sniping me. I, dude, I had to, no, he said, he said for the group. Rick and Rick for the group. Rick and Rick and Such a great movie. Rick Rick he's using your shirt. All of you are using me at this point. And Rick you look like golf. I don't, Rick, Rick and Ricky Rick aren't even. Use it, use it. I love you, man, you know that. I'm not, I'm not like you, you can have it. There you go. We picked up these, Chris got a Chester, Chester Cheetah. A little bit dusty, but just needs to be cleaned off. And they're like, this is attached on there pretty good so the small soldiers small things. and I got Mario after Curtis visited him <laughs> 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 We need more white people on the show. Yeah, yeah you're kind of white. You're from Argentina. I'm whiter than everybody here around here. Well, him. not you. That's why they call you pinky. And they call him. What do they call him? <laughs> Smalley. Smalley. No, they call him. They, 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 they you're going to make it. No, it will, Jared. Hey. Make sure all this goes in. They, they call him the small soldier. The small soldier. Oh, yeah. Oh. So Chris and I and Curtis decided to head out and go walk around the town. We go to Chipotle. We're here just to get out and get a fresh air and get a little break from being inside of a convention all day. We're all at Chipotle and Rick just walked in. What? Did you get that for five dollars? Five bucks, five dollar bin. They didn't know what they had. Screwed them over. It's like what brings me life. I didn't know we were watching Phoenix Resale. I know, right? Uh, no, he just left it on there because he thought it was funny. I was like, actually, that is hilarious. 120, 130 bucks. Got it for 100 bones. Nice. nice. Got ripped off. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. We got Phoenix, Arizona. We had game on, baby. Let's go get some dice. <laughs> shake it, Curtis. Shake it. Yeah. Hit the wall. Oh, 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 oh. Rick, tell me something interesting. Science. Science is not interesting to me, to be honest. I can do Dude, it. I don't know, man. I, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty interesting that Greenland. It's covered in ice, and Iceland is very green. I think that's pretty weird. Why is it sli why is it switched? Nobody knows. Gamba does it. You know that. Is that your boss? Nope. Just got done eating. Just got out going to Chipotle, taking a break from the convention. But now we're going back in to hunt. But I think Gabo might have one specific thing in mind that I really, really. Gabo. One thing in mind that I think he's gonna get, that I think is a big boy, that Retro Rick may have already gotten before, but we're gonna hopefully get that Any very change? soon. What? Any change? Yeah, man, I got you. Please give that back. All right, so Gabo's on his way right now to get Flintstones. So I don't know what he's paying it. I don't know any details, but he's going to get it. I told him I'd support him through it. Last time I, he did it in a different, like in Siege, and he didn't get it. So I told him this time I'll help him support him. Hopefully he can afford it. I don't say that in a bad way, but I mean like, you know, is it a financially responsible thing to do? But he's gonna do it, so let's go. Gabo, you think this is a... Now you're good. Like this is this is you're okay getting it, right? Like financially yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay. I, you know why I saw one of the graded games. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Not with the value of what it's worth now, yeah, too. So value wise or even financial. I know you guys are gonna ask what you're gonna do with Dan, to be honest. I don't know. Okay. Oh, and, he sold a graded game. Yeah. So everything is full circle now. It's paid for. Yeah. That's so great. I'm ready. This is a big step because it's the last big one that I need for yep. my NES whole collection. And after that, I can spend more money because I'm going to the Super NES whole collection. Okay. Well, we are here in the booth. I'm about to buy one of the biggest NES games ever, more expensive. Really cool game. I needed to complete my NES whole collection. I was supposed to complete it and buy that game a couple of weeks ago, but thanks to Rifos boss, Rhetoric, he bought it before me, we compete, that's in another video. So, yeah, let's see. Well, <laughs> how much it was, seriously? Okay, so, he always been awesome with me, always give me amazing deal, so I'm gonna trade this game with him. I got this 150, so we are good, right? Okay. How much for this one? Finally, I got it in my hands. What do you think, Rifo? Uh, you're asking the wrong guy, because... Uh... Okay, there's two, there, before that, before, yes. before you talk, there's two things to take consideration. Yes, consideration. Look. Yes, back label has yeah. some rippage. I see that. And the top here, label has yeah. some bubbling, as you can kind of see, a little bit of bubbling right there. But I, I'm, I'm not picky like Retro Rig and like uh, Ben. So. Okay. So now I'm, I'm, I'm lying. We already have a grid, man. So how much? Was 11. 11. What's Retro Rig pay for his? Uh, 18. <laughs> pay the man. Hey, you know what I like, though, about this? Everybody in the world on YouTube that talks about this game goes, oh, the value, the value. Dude, people are slipping on how good of a game this is. The Both the Flintstones games on the NES are actual great games. Besides from it being super expensive, it's a fun game. It's a Taito game. Taito in the NES days makes some of the best stuff. Taito! I love the way they say that, so there it is. Good job, Gabo. And you know what? I'm spending cash rule everything around me. Here is the money. Give me, give me the game. And I bought it! I completed! No, still a couple of games left. But anyways, happiness! Finally I got it! Yeah! Alright, so we're here at Game Tower. Uh, our long-standing friends of the show, long-friending stands of the community. Uh, just found out someone came here and stole a complete in-box Chrono Trigger. Just took it. That's like a $900 game, or close to a $1,000 game. Someone comes here and steals it. Stuff like that. I don't get mad about many things in the world, but that kind of stuff pisses me off. So if you guys have a friend recently who said they went to Game On and they came home with a Chrono Trigger and um, they might be bragging a bit about they got it and maybe they did steal it, uh, a message from the community and all of us, screw you and rot in peace. Not even want to use the word peace. Rot in crap. You piece of 
use your imagination. You stay! Taking a pause once again to say thank you to one of our longest running sponsors, Squarespace, a beautiful platform on which to create your websites. One of the best features about Squarespace is the custom merch. Easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production and inventory. And get this, shipping is handled for you, saving you time, money, and effort. Oh, and you know time is valuable. Also, Squarespace extensions. With Squarespace extensions, you can connect your store to vetted third-party tools to extend the functionality of your website. Ooh, and member areas. Monetize your content by selling membership access to exclusive sections of your website. Okay, I, I like that a lot. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That was it for Game On Expo 2023. Wild, always a good time. We've still never missed one. I got, I love that in this one, we got to have so much fun with everybody and different people. Yeah. It was not just me and Ricky narrating. It was the whole crew. Everyone was part of this. That's the way game hunting, toy hunting, nostalgia hunting should be. Friends acting like idiots. If you're not an idiot with your friends, I feel bad for you. Being stupid is the way to be with your friends. It's the funnest way to be. Right, Ben? Be as stupid as you can. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. From my son.